What's going on everyone? Austin John Place here and today I'm going to be going over all of the Wisp locations in the Crimson Marlins for Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> This is now the second video I've made in this series. If you did not see all of the Wisp locations for the Obsidian Fieldlands and for the Village, there might be a card here. There's definitely a playlist at the end of the video and the end of this video is most likely going to be having the following area getting to the, the Oceania place that I, I haven't made that video yet that it's going to be the next one. If you've been following along, we are now at the point that we have 27 wisps. If we speak with Vessa over here, she's going to tell you where the remaining 80 are going to be. If you go to how many wisps are left again, it's going to say that we've gathered all them in the village and the field lands. And now we're going to go for the 20 at the Crimson Marlins. If you check the screen right here, the 20 berry stamps are going to be the locations of all 20 of the wisps in the area. If you just want to take it from here and have the challenge yourself, go for it. However, if you want to follow along with the guide, I am going to recommend that you mark down all of these locations as we go through them and you follow along. If you come to a location and you did get one of the wisps, I'm going to change it to a Pokeball. However, if you come to one of these locations and there is no wisp there, I am going to recommend making it a different icon. I'm going to be using the ore as a reference. And then once you're done with the entire area, if you're still missing some, well, any of them that you change to a Pokeball, you know that you literally just got it and you're not missing that one. And the ones that are the ore, well, maybe uh, it's accidentally daytime. You could just go back and check super easily. I'm quite certain that all of the wisps in this area you are going to be able to get with only Weirdeer as your only Pokemon ride. You do not need Basque Legion or the climbing one or Breviary in order to get these. So great, make sure it's nighttime and I'm gonna wait till the rain is gone so I can see clearly now. Because of the strange altitude changes in this level, I am gonna be doing this in sort of a falling down method. And the very first one we're gonna be taking a look at is right here in the lowlands. This one is going to be located on top of here, which you can run up with Weird Ear quite easily. Our next location is going to be just directly west of here. If we head to that corner, you're going to see it right out in the open for you. From here, we're going to be heading pretty much directly south in the Gabe Jaw Bog. In order to reach this one, there's going to be a group of ruins that are located right here, right by this group of ponds. And we're going to head up this pathway with a crafty Weird Ear jump. Crafty weird deer jump. Thank you. And if you get up that crafty jump, you're going to be seeing it pretty much out in the open overlooking the boglands. From here, we're going to be heading directly south along this coastline. And the middle of this tiny little pond is going to be having a wisp for us. Is that a satchel? Let's grab the satchel. For the next two located in the home of Trials, I'm actually going to be going to the Bogbound Camp. Once we head out toward the river, you are able to make this jump before you get Basque Legion. Just like that. And on the giant mound where the brand new Slaygoo is, you can just go ahead and grab this. You don't need Basculin, it just makes that a little bit easier and it makes it so you actually don't have to fight Slaygoo. Next up, we're pretty much going to be heading directly west of here. And on this small hill, you're able to climb up this side pretty easily to get yourself this wisp. There's going to be one down here in Ursa's Ring. That's the one I'm going to be going to next. And for that, I'm going to fast travel from the Bogbound Camp. Navigating through Ursa's Ring and the giant Alpha Ursa Ring over there, who knocked me on my butt. We are going to be seeing this wisp over in the back. And with a series of jumps, you can land up here no problemo. Once again, making our way from the Bogbound Camp, we are going to be starting to head up this direction. And the first one I want to head to is going to be located right here at the northern west section of the Scarlet Bog. Making our way from the Scarlet Bog, hopping up some very small hills, right next to where there's a very large breakable boulder. If you didn't know the, if you see a boulder on your screen right here, that thing is breakable. Throw a Pokemans at it. From here, in order to get up the boulder row slope, we actually need to make our way back to the Scarlet Bog and I'm going to be going to this location. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go to camp again. From that waypoint marker, we could start making our way up boulder row slope. And looking to the right by the river, we are going to be seeing this wisp over here. You know what? I kind of I kind of like this scene right here. Is this a is this a, a good a good thumbnail one? No, man, nothing ever looks good in this place. We are actually right next to one more that I want to get. If we just head back to the Boulder Row slope, 
you should be seeing it pretty much directly in front of you. And by it, I mean the very large hill where Onyx is. That's where we need to go. Onyx is up there on top of the hill and tucked off to the side, that wisp. That's our 10th one. From the diamond settlement, if we look to the left, we are gonna be finding our next wisp that we need to go get. And that's going to be up this hill and then we're gonna circle around to the left. A series of rocks that we can climb up, no problem. From here, we're gonna be using the fast travel point at the Brava Arena. This does unlock after you quell the frenzy noble of this area. And I'm first gonna be heading to this stamp that's gonna be located just right there. Heading up the middle slope, that's gonna bring our way to the shrouded ruins. If we hook to the right on top of one of the entrance cliffs, we are gonna be seeing our wisp right here. In addition, the next one that we need to get is actually visible from where we're standing. Straight ahead. Take some fall damage, go get your wisp. Now we're gonna be heading out west once again, and this one is going to involve a little bit of strategic falling in order to get this wisp on this cliff. From here, we're going to implement strategic falling once again to head south for this location. This one you can get if you're on the ground and you have Basque Legion. However, if you do not have Basque Legion, you may need to implement this strategic falling as well. I did that very fast and got myself a little bit of damage there, didn't I? Someone is spotting me? Who is spotting me? Friendly reminder, in order to do this, should be nighttime. Without Basque Legion, the next one is going to require us to go from the Diamond Settlement clockwise around Lake Valor over to here. Once making your way on top of the rocks at the entrance of Lake Valor, you can find at the very edge this wisp. Oh, this might be my thumbnail with that, with that full moon right there. Only the trees were a little bit redder, that'd be nice. For our next one, you could take the Eurepic Leap from the Bogbound Camp, but since we're already on this side, let's start heading south. And this one is just really out in the open. <laughs> Isn't the Carnivine over here somewhere? I feel like he is. From here, it's gonna be just a very short trip to Cotton Edge Prairie. If you're familiar with where Toga Tick is flying, I now realize that I said that name completely wrong in my rare Pokemon video, that's fine. We could head over to the ledges in which we are going to be able to throw feather balls over at Togetic, and there's going to be our wisp. Oh, this is a better shot. From here, if you've been following along, we only have two left. One of them is located just southeast of where we are. And at the very end of this area, there's just a small hill that we need to climb up. And once we're up here, we can go ahead and grab this wisp. The very last one is going to be at the Bogbound Camp. If we head up the small ramp to the area that we've done our epic jump many, many times, there's a good chance you already grabbed this one. Grab my iron. And right here is going to be our last and 20th Wisp of the Crimson Boglands. Following along, your total should now be at least 47. Let's speak with Vesso over here. And with that, we're gonna get the 30 Wisp reward of a Dusk Stone, pretty neat. The 40 Wisp reward of a large experience candy. Unfortunately, in order to get all of the Wisps of the Cobalt Coastlands, you are going to need to scale something that Weird Deer cannot. And that Pokemon ride is actually accessed in the fourth area, right in the middle over here. So we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff over here in our following videos. And then once we get to this area, we're gonna be doing the backtrack into here so we can climb up on things and do stuff. Great. Oh, there's a Chimchar. I could shiny hunt it. Be a heck of a lot better than staring at a briefcase. Well, there you go, guys. That's gonna be all the Will-O-Wisps of this area. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below for more Pokemon Legends Arceus content. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Maybe consider turning on the bell. It's up to you. Till next time, Austin John out.